Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundforks. This is episode 54 of the Interplanetary Voyage of Exploration. And in previous episodes we have launched a basically whole flotilla in the Kerbin Park in orbit. And today we will be launching actually the this whole flotilla with transferring it on the voyage to EVE. So, yes, we have already sent ships to Duna, we have already sent ships to Jewel, and now I'm set to report we'll do some more ships sending to EVE, because uh, since we're playing with Kerbal's construction time and constructions do take a significant portion of time, I don't want to wait for a next opportunity to actually be sending our ships to, um, to EVE. And I desperately need some more science to be able to advance our space program. So, with that being said, I'm launching the last of the exploration ships, uh, which is, I think it's the second one, or the third one, don't quote me, uh, on the route to EVE. And we are just... Apoepsis, and... Uh, we have reached the apoapsis and uh, now we are kind of uh, making sure to circle for the uh, to circularize the orbit. Okay, burning for the circularization. Okay, and. Uh, making sure I'm once again aiming for around 100 by 100 something parking orbit screenshot even for a brief second we'll see how much science we will be able to get because we are already got some science which that should be returned by our probe that's coming back the broken one but then again we also dependent that it lands successfully and everything is okay so it doesn't hurt to you know double up on our bets and just make sure that we send a little bit more craft onwards so yeah making sure that we do I, that I do fix and circularize because we're now we're at 105 by 78 so just a tiny correction which would make our ejection from Kerbin easier. Okay, and... Cool, that's it. So, that being said, we have our broken probe that is on the exit trajectory uh, from Eve and changing the sphere of influence <laughs> making sure that the change does happen at one time times acceleration because we had a nice encounter with Kerbin we don't want to mess that one up I think, I think it would be only convenient so let's see do we have a Kerbin encounter or don't we uh, let's put another encounter at the, uh, I think it's the ascending node. Or descend descending node, yeah. So now tweaking a little bit to make sure that we get an encounter with Kerbin, fiddling a little bit. And I want to make sure that our Kerbin encounter becomes as close to Kerbin as possible, because we want to basically perform an arrow capture so yeah I think it's fine as long as we don't get torn up by far so that's fine okay uh, we will do fine fiddling just before we enter Kerbin's sphere of influence and then we will aim for the correct periapsis around Kerbin and everything so screeny maneuver node is set and we have a window Kerbin to Eve that we are waiting for to be launching our flotilla that we have parked in the orbit. So four hours, it's close enough. So 
as long as we're within one day frame, I think that should be more than sufficient. So that being said, let us start. First, let's go from the scan set ship. And that one is pretty simple and straightforward. Has enough of Delta V to point eight thousand, which should be more than enough. So now let us just input the parameters that we have from here. And I really like this approach. It simplifies my transfers a lot. Uh, so I'm just fixing now the correct the correct ejection angle, trying to find which one is which. And note that uh, that one was written uh, from prograde and this was from retrograde, so you have to a little bit understand what you're doing. So I, when I recalculated that one, then I came up with the correct uh, ejection angle and I'm thinking it's somewhere around here. So I need to also input the normal delta V. I'm just now trying to see, and yes, target Eve. And okay, yeah, right, normal delta V, and which puts us immediately much closer to the Eve encounter. So just focusing, fiddling a little bit left and right, will ensure that we have much better chances of encountering Eve. Perfect. Then node prograde and make sure that we activate our communication dishes. After all, we do want to make sure that we are communicating everything back. So cool, let's do that. Let's just warp. And I'm time warping to the maneuver node. By the way, I'm showing all this at the time's acceleration because I always seen most of the interplanet transfers, but I still don't want you guys to kind of miss some of the ships that I might be launching. Then you come asking, okay, where does this ship come from and stuff? So yeah, and progression wise, it makes sense. So far, I've tried to keep the progression visible. So there are no kind of quite open questions, but uh, yeah, and uh, I, I intend to do that unless I get like too many comments that it's tedious or boring, and in which case I'm willing to actually reconsider and just show first transfers and maybe I'll just then say what I did offline, but it is up to you guys. Let me know what you feel is the right approach. Okay, uh, this being said, let's now we're burning for our Eve encounter fiddling a little bit and I think we should be okay so let's see how how do we look if we kill our maneuver node okay maybe a little bit more closer hold on 4.2 let's just reduce and see if we do get an encounter with Eve we don't okay well we should be pretty close, uh, so let us just make a correction burn at some stage a little bit later, and maybe at the maybe at the ascending node we can actually go and fiddle a little bit to get a better encounter. And here we go, and it will cost us 16 delta V. I think that's perfectly plausible. So, yeah mode off and yeah we'll have to wait until our maneuver node so let's deactivate to save on the energy cool I think that should be sufficient okay now talking about exploration ships so let's once again target Eve input the ejection parameters 135 by 126, radial zero, we fiddle a little bit to see what encounter do we get with Eve, and here we go, focus on Eve. Perfect, so fiddling a little bit up and down, and see what do we land at. By the way, in case you were wondering, the sound that it makes metallic, it's me turning on and off microphone, muting it in some cases, just that I you don't hear me sneeze occasionally. <laughs> yeah, so, 
Uh, okay. Activating the communitrons because those are the ones that we will be using for communicating to Eve. We don't need the long range ones as we did for Jewel because it's more than enough. So now we're, I'm fiddling a little bit with RCS as well, making sure that we do get an encounter. And it's much easier to steer that one because we have RCS. So yeah, cranking up solar panels and that's it. Next. So, let's see which craft do we have next, shall we? So, I'm thinking that we might want to choose the second exploration ship, which is, I think, the comms one. Yeah, because the EVE Exploration 2 is already on the escape trajectory out of Kerbin, so that's the one that we want. We're sending two exploration ships plus uh, one scan set ship. So it's, and I think one mini probe, I guess, uh, the one that went to Moho. So this is our flotilla that's bound for Eve. We don't want to be sending like a lander, which we, be, which we uh, sent like Jeb to Duna because uh, I don't want to be landing on Eve, not just yet. Even if I sent a manned mission, it would probably be just to get to the orbit, collect some science, and then get out. Uh, because my so far experience from EVE, I was successful at landing at EVE, but I was unsuccessful in coming back from EVE. For that, I want to have a little bit higher tech level, and at some point I actually might design a lander that is perfectly capable of doing that, so... Yeah, okay, now I'm playing a little bit with maneuver nodes, trying to fiddle around to get an EVE encounter. <laughs> Closest approach, come on, oh, that's increasing. Well, we do have an ample of Delta V with this one, but then again, I don't want to waste too much now, shall we? So let's see, a little bit fiddling up, down, left, right, well, I'm just happy to get an encounter, anyway. Let's just execute it and make sure that we do, yeah, that we burn for that one. By the way, burning with these guys is easy because we have Rhino engine, so that's powerful enough, so our burns take very short, which is great, uh, which makes maneuver nodes more accurate. So, burning, holding maneuver prograde, screenshot, and let's see where we end up EVE-wise. Quick burn and whoop. And I want to be burning very carefully. Let's see. Okay, let's see where we end up EVE-wise. Okay, focus on EVE. So this is our epoapsis, so let's see if we can put it down. Okay, yeah, sure. Bring it much closer. Yeah, this is our periapsis, uh, sorry, not epoapsis, around Eve. So I just made sure to point the craft prograde and execute a small correction burn that would basically put us closer. Okay, and this burn is supposed to happen in 69 days, I think, or 69, yeah, 69 days, so, yeah, we queue, we are queuing also the correction burn, so we will be needing to do those at some point in time. So, okay, and now we are doing the near future probe, the small one, and I wanted to have that one the last because its burn takes the longest, maybe a couple of orbits even, so now fiddling to get an encounter with Eve, and some of our probes will be getting encounters much earlier than the others, especially I think the comset one, so yeah. Let's see. Okay, and 
We'll see it maneuver node in 12 minutes. I think our burn is quite long-ish. So I think I'll need to make burns in two, stage, two stages, like a couple of minutes before and after. So yeah, like maybe five minutes before. Make sure I want to make sure first that I have solar power. So aligning maneuver prograde, but then again, I will also rotate the craft to make sure that I get as much. Okay, I have a direct sunlight. So well, that's even better. That kind of means that I can burn almost at full thrust with, in and while enjoying a good thrust to weight. Yeah, 0 0.26, this is awesome. So our burning will actually take seven minutes and we are right on the mark, great. That's even better, so okay. Just holding maneuver prograde. And I'm using physics time acceleration because, I mean, we don't want to see me burning like for seven minutes. That's... nobody's kind of that patient. Especially not me. Yeah. Maybe I have some virtues, but patience is definitely not one of them. So, okay. Yeah, burning for our transfer. And we're closing on our man we're closing up on our maneuver note. Let's see if we do get an Eve encounter. Slowly but surely and yes we do. Wonderful. Wow, even way better than expected. Perfect. Let's kill the maneuver and Yes, mandatory screenshot. Beautiful. So I think that kind of concludes our EVE transfer. So let us see our flotilla leaving. And obviously this guy is leaving much faster because we expended way more Delta V than from the others. So yeah, this one is really going fast. So I'm just now want to make sure that we do get out of the sphere of influence, so in 14 minutes, 13, 12, and counting down, so yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, whoa, 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 easy peasy boy, okay, should happen any moment now, I really have no idea what does this mean, so yeah, and yeah, I'm I think at this time I just stopped the recording because my game crashed or something. So yeah. Okay guys, bottom line is that uh, we have one more maneuver to take care of and that's our dual nuke probe. The first probe that we launched to nuke. And we have a small correction burn that needs to be performed. Yes, so loading up our... where is our... Uh, Jewel Probe 1, where are you? <laughs> wow, it has been a while. S I have s launched a substantial number of sh ships since then. Yeah, focus on Bob. Interesting, yeah. Sometimes this game really gives some interesting results. Okay. Node in three hours. Sure, whatever. Just accelerating a little bit. And this blinking is a little bit annoying for my taste, but then again... Execute the plane maneuver. It's already queued up. So we just need to basically accelerate until the point where it actually executes Three two one and burn done Killing a command toggling SAS, which I hope should be enough and yeah, which that brings us guys to the end of this episode, also a little bit shorter. I hope you like the episode, despite it being just a bunch of transfers. Next one should be much more interesting. Um, like if you like the video and hit subscribe for more KSP content that will be coming soon. In that, thanks and bye.